and welcome to another review at the wonderful Worcester Guitar Centre here in the heart of Worcestershire, like the source. <laughs> My name's Ben and I'm sat today here with Josh and we're, we're reviewing today the Godin, but I've been corrected. Godin. 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 Because they're French Canadian. Um, we've got today the Summit Classic, made in Canada, eh? What are we going on? What's going on? Yeah, well, it's uh, a nice colour they call creme brulee. <laughs> yeah. Uh, creme brulee. You've got a mahogany neck, a mm. uh, mahogany back, two-piece flame carved maple top. Um, quite nice. In fact, it's not a mahogany back. Is it not? No. It's a chambered cedar oh, is back. It? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's not mahogany. So get that one right. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that can go. <laughs> that one can go. That can go. Um, we've also got a maple calf top, haven't we? Yeah. On the front there. Yeah. Nice. And two Seymour Duncan P90s as standard. What are P90s? Uh, they are single coils, but with a much higher output and obviously a larger enclosure, different bobbin size, different bobbin style, and it gives them a much fatter uh, warmer sound, but still mm. with the aggressive edge of a um, of a single coil, which is quite nice. Mm. Let's have a hear. Let's have a listen to yeah. it. <laughs> So a little bit about Godin. Like we said before, they're made in Canada. Um, all handmade in Canada. They've got various sort of warehouses and, and factories around, but they always, um, they never use kind of cheap labour, do they? Yeah, they've Which got is, no Eastern, no Eastern labour involved. Not at all? No. Nope. So uh, no Chinese parts, all Canadian. Um, and we also think that they've got their own, they grow their own trees for Godin guitars. Um, but this one here, obviously we've got the creme brulee, and we've got this stunning gold top finish as well. Again, the mahogany neck and the... Chambered cedar back. The chambered cedar back, not the, not the, not the mahogany back. Again, this one's still got the P90s in it, the, uh, the neck and the bridge. We've also got this funny little thing here. What we got? Yeah, they call it a, uh, a HDR switch. Uh, a go down and it basically it adds quite a lot of definition uh, it stands for high definition revoicing um, HDR and it it adds quite a lot of definition clarity and bite to the sound which is most uh, most noticeable when you're on full volume so just as a, a contrast <laughs> you've got that's with it in and then without quite a warm and rich sound so it makes this really quite versatile because you can you can get a guitar that will you know do jazzier warmer sounds but at the same time from the neck position you can get some nice funkier choppier sounds. Should have a listen to a bit dirty? Yeah sure. Let's go to this little orange amp here a bit dirt. So this Filth. is this is bridge pickup, HDR off, volume on full. Oh. 
So that, that was that was lovely. Thanks. That really Sounds was lovely. Really good. Really. We've got right. something else, haven't we, with this um, with this may uh, sorry this mahogany neck. It's a set. We'll see. But what have we got on the fretboard? Yeah, well, you've got a, a rich light fretboard, which is a, uh, a comprised of phenolic resin pressed together, and it's very, very hard, very smooth, very, really smooth. very durable. It's often used in fretlesses. No um, grain, obviously. Yeah, um, it is a man-made compound, but it's a pretty good substitute for ebony in both tone and durability and feel and also looks so you've got a real nice real nice looking fretboard that is really would you let them oil that no no there's no there's no need really no. I mean, you, you wouldn't have to you wouldn't there's no need to preserve it it's um and like you say there's no grain to it so no there's no that um there's no need to sort of yeah, oil it up yeah um, what sort of what sort of style of music would you kind of put this go down into? Oh, could it could it fall into a category? Um, or was it just like a main sort of? I don't know. Well, obviously you've got classic P nineties, and so there is a little bit of single coil buzz mm. with them. Um, so you wouldn't want it for super super high gain stuff because that's going to get really really over the top. You'll start but, to sing too much, far too yeah. much. Yeah. But for you know medium low. <laughs> Bluesier playing, it mm. really, really screams, I find, especially with that HDR switch, you can change to get a bit dirty. Literally lit up. <laughs> this is the piece de la resistance. This is obviously we've been talking about blues, a bit of rock, and that kind of thing. What have we got here? Well, that is a 1978 Gibson Les Paul. It's slightly modified, um, but that's what they used to do in the 70s. Um, whether they were high <laughs> or whether they were <laughs> doing something, I don't know. But this one's got a really nice sort of shaved neck, hasn't it? It's been yeah, refinished. Yeah. We, we actually have this here at Worcester Guitar Centre for sale for a really, really good price. Really nice price. Should we plug it in? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you want to plug it in. I do. I you want to plug it in. Take that off your hands. Yes. Let's oh. grab this Canadian beast. So yeah, that's the goad. And this is the Les Paul. Let's compare the sounds. That's our 1978 Gibson Les Paul. Come and try them out. You've got to see them to believe and play them to believe them. Sum that guitar up in one word. Oh, one gorgeous. word. Gorgeous. gorgeous. Like it. And some of these. Some. Some. I tell you what. Some of this creme brulee. Creme brulee. Canadian A made oh, guitar. Tasty. It's tasty. Isn't it? Creme brulee. Tasty. Until next time. I've been Ben. I've been John. We'll see you again next time. Yeah.